Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in. It is time for our college football top uh, top ten rankings, right? Yep. <laughs> and our and our CFP week. predictions. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I I lost my uh, train of thought right in the middle of the intro. That's not good. That's all right. It happens. This uh, I'm Gary. I'm Chris. And this is Winning Cures Everything. If this is your first time listening, thank you for jumping in. Of course, you can find everything about us over at winningcureseverything.com. All of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms, everything else over at the website, winningcureseverything.com. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave some comments. Tell us what your top ten is. Tell us what you think we got right, what we got wrong, etc. Uh, towards the end of the season, obviously, uh, a lot of stuff will be the same at the top. But it's once you get back towards seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, that's where it's going to change up. Uh, and then once we transition over into our playoff predictions for next Sunday, uh, it'll probably be a little bit different there as well. So uh, let's go ahead and fire in. Oh, hey, the show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books, along with a whole bunch of other fun stuff to do, cool steakhouses. Uh, if it's warm enough, they got some really cool golf courses down there. I'm telling you, a whole bunch of fun stuff to do down in Tunica, Mississippi. Go to tunicatravel.com to get more information on that. Also, new sponsor on the show, Smack Apparel, S-M-A-C-K apparel.com. You use the promo code WIN, you get 20% off your order. It's pretty awesome. 20% is a pretty good deal. And they have got some fun stuff. Pro teams, college teams, uh, rivalry shirts, a bunch of novelty kind of stuff. But they've also got just really cool, good-looking shirts as well. Go check them out. Smackapparel.com. Use the promo code WIN. You get 20% off. Any order over 40 bucks is going to ship for free. So if you're looking for Christmas shopping, Cyber Monday, all that, that's where you need to go. Go check that thing out. Um, let's jump in with our top 10. Do you want to go first on this one? It doesn't matter. Go, uh, go right ahead. All right. Start number one, I got LSU. Number two, Ohio State. Number three, Clemson. Number four, Georgia. I think that's pretty cut and dry. I think yep. it's pretty clear. Um, number five, I've got Oklahoma. Number six, Baylor. I think those two are lumped in and tied to the hip right now. Uh, number six, uh, sorry, seven, I've got uh, Utah. And number eight, I've got Florida here. Number nine, I've got Bama. And Wisconsin. So we get to the two loss teams. Florida, I believe, should be ranked higher than Bama. They both have the same loss against LSU. Um, and they both played a common opponent in Auburn, in which Florida beat Auburn. Alabama lost to Auburn. Uh, and then Florida's other losses to Georgia, which is higher ranked than anyone Bama has played uh, so far. And then at number 10, I've got Wisconsin. I think they're the best two-loss team in the country. Oh, no, sorry. They're, they're right behind Florida and Bama as the best two-loss team in the country. So. I am very sad. We have the, the same top 10, just in a different order. Okay. Uh, of course, one through five, uh, well, one through four, LSU, Ohio State, Clemson, Georgia. Got that. Hey, but uh, that's new, though, because you've had Ohio State one for a while. I've had Ohio State one for a while. I, I think what LSU did last night was uh, – Okay. Uh, but the last couple of weeks, I, I have had LSU up there. Okay. So, last couple of weeks, I have. Um, number five, I've got Utah. I think I Utah is unbelievable. I think their defense would dominate Oklahoma. Like, I, I, this defensive line is something else, man. Utah is a really, really good team. Number six, I got Oklahoma. Number seven, I got Baylor. Number eight, I've got Florida. Number nine, I've got Wisconsin. Oh, wow. If you look at wins... Like, I understand that they lost to Illinois one point, you know, whatever. Um, but if you just look at wins, they got the big win over Michigan. They got a big win over Minnesota. Uh, you know. A big win over Iowa, too, man. Yeah. That's not a joke. No, not at all. Like, if they, you know this what? is. You might, you might be right here. You you might be right here. I mean, if, if we're going that way. SEC bias there. Um, their, their losses. Now, they've got the worst loss. But their other losses. Well, Georgia's got the worst loss. <laughs> but it's, uh, out of these three teams, then yeah. But yeah, if you're talking about the two lost teams now, I guess that's where I punish them of, you know, because it's a bad loss. That lost to Illinois, I've got them over Oklahoma. I mean, I've got them right behind Georgia. Yeah. 
Oh, I might have them over Georgia in four. Yeah, I mean, they'd, they'd have, I mean, the same amount of big wins, I guess. And their only loss would be to Ohio State. I mean, so, that, I mean, that's a hell of a resume. Hell yes. of a resume. Yes, so they, they get to do it again. However, Alabama doesn't have to play this week. Florida doesn't have to play this week. Wisconsin, that's if right. they go and lose to Ohio State, they're going to be moved back. Here. Yeah. They will drop. Uh, right. And then I do have Alabama at number 10. Um, I mean, you could make a case for all kind of – you could make a case for Notre Dame. They've got more ranked wins than Alabama well, does. Man, they, I, you know, I, all that. man, I almost – I tried to find a way to bounce one of these teams. That just, I just couldn't do it. I was really close to putting Notre Dame in. Yeah. So I've got Alabama at 10. Um, but, we'll, I mean, we'll see. Like, I, I, I think Alabama is still a really good team. The fact that they haven't gotten to play uh, a lot of ranked teams, that hurts yeah. them. No, the resume the resume's tough. I mean, it's just – it's so hard to say, well, these are the teams I think are the best because you can't just do that because we don't know. We we have to go on what – this is why I'm such a stickler for resume. You have to go on what you know, not what you think. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, and that's why I've got Alabama at 10. So. Yeah, that's, prob- that's probably right. Resume-wise, Wisconsin does have a better resume than they are. Yes, sir. At, at this point, for sure. Uh, but even well, if they lose – you know, in the Big Ten title game, it's still probably going to be better. It shouldn't change it because we we have to assume Bama would have lost that game as well. So, Auburn with a win over number five, uh, do you think that they move up? Um, I mean, that they, they probably will over Michigan, I guess. They were already over Notre Dame. But a 9-3 and three team, I mean, would they, would they put Auburn maybe in the top ten here? I don't know that I could – I don't know that I could get Auburn here, even though all their losses are – Totally justifiable um, and, and understandable. And their their strength of schedule is way harder than anything Wisconsin or Bama has played. Um, In the playoff rankings, Oregon was was one spot over them, but Auburn beat them. So I'm wondering, like, they've done yeah, this before. I, I, I don't know. The playoff rankings, I think, is just a bunch of people in a room trying to appease one another. Um, I mean, I probably would have Auburn 11th. I know I said I, I tried to get Notre Dame in this thing. I don't know that I could in good conscience put Notre Dame in over Auburn right now. No, I agree with you. I agree. I mean, I, this is going to be fun to, to watch on, on Tuesday night. I think uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see where we're headed for the playoff selection. Obviously, we're going to do a live show for that on Well, this is what we Sunday. think, though. This is not what we think they're going to do. This is how we feel, right? Oh, yeah. No, this is how we feel about it. So, when we do the, the next thing we do is, is – the playoff prediction, that's what we think we're predicting what's going to happen. Yes. All right, so, you know, yeah, let's go on and jump into that. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.